So one of the hardest things about making daily YouTube videos is actually coming up with an idea for a video for every day of the week. Today was one of those days where I had no idea where what I wanted to do. So I just thought to myself, what would I want to know about Call of Duty? And the thing I want to know more than anything else right now is in Call of Duty 2016, will there be exosuits? Will there be boost jumps? Will there be jetpacks? Whatever you want to call it, will they be in Call of Duty Ghost 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4? Whatever you want to call it, in Call of Duty 2016, 16 will there be boost jumps and I think we can kind of deduce whether or not they're going to be there whether you like the answer or not I'm gonna try to come up with an answer by the end of this video and guess what I talked about it last year at about this time talking about black ops 3 and actually got it right so let's see if I can go two years in a row with getting this correct but before I get into it what I want to know is I want you to write in the comment section below what do you want to see in the next Call of Duty game? Do you want to see something like we have now in Black Ops 3 where there is a boost jump, but it's like a slower kind of boost jump? Do you want slides? Do you want dolphin dives? What kind of movement system do you want to see in Call of Duty 2016? Personally, I love the movement system in Black Ops 3. I think it's done 100% right. There is no more pogo stick movement like there was in Advanced Warfare where people were hopping around like Tigger in Winnie the Pooh. No more of that. There's just this slow jetpack boost jump that I actually find works pretty well. And what the way that it was explained when Black Ops 3 first came out is that this boost jump is there to negate the use of ladders. Because let's be honest, if you ever played any Treyarch games in the past before, their ladders never worked. Ever. They never worked correctly. But since they put this boost jump in, no longer do they have to use ladders, therefore making it so this boost jump has its time, has its place. Well, people in Black Ops 3 still use this boost jump to basically hippity hop around and kill people while flying through the air, and it works pretty damn well. But it's no pogo stick movement like in Advanced Warfare. Now, where can we deduce? Where can we figure out whether this next game is going to have this? Well, what we have learned about Infinity Ward is in the last Call of Duty game, they slowed the game down a lot. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, first of all, think back about Call of Duty Ghost maps. Those maps were absolutely monstrous. Some of the biggest maps I have ever seen in Call of Duty games to the point where I'd be sitting there for three minutes and don't even see a teammate, let alone an enemy. Like, retardedly big. Too, too, too big. One of the maps, I don't remember the name of it. L let me look it up. One sec, one sec. Siege. Siege. It was called Siege. Now, why don't I remember the name of that map? Well, because I never played it. Because the only way you could play it was in Ground War. And guess what? PS3 and Xbox 360 didn't even have Ground War. So... Yeah, you could barely ever play this map. It was so big. It was so monstrously big that literally you could not see an enemy for three minutes. I was not over exaggerating when I said that. It was absolutely insane how large that map was. Not to mention there was other large maps, Stormfront being one of them, Whiteout being one of them. There was all these really big maps in that game because they tried to slow down the game and make it more tactical. Well, what do I mean? What do I mean by this whole tactical thing? Well, there's this argument going on in the Call of Duty community whether the game should be a speedy arcade shooter or a tactical game. Now, if we look at tactical games, one of those that's considered a tactical game is Battlefield. Now, Battlefield has these monstrous, monstrous maps with sometimes larger games can go up to 64 players in a game, whereas Call of Duty, generally speaking, you're playing six versus six. So, arcade wise, the 6 versus 6 games leans towards that more arcadey feel. Now, I haven't really answered what I want to see. Well, what I want to see is a lot different than I think what a lot of people want to see. I really, really enjoy the whole Black Ops 3 movement mechanics. I think it's really well done, and I would love to see the movement mechanics from Black Ops 3 go into Call of Duty 16. That's what I'd want. But, what would be really cool to see is finally a distinct difference between each developer's Call of Duty. For example, what if Black Ops 3 kept their movement, Sledgehammer Games kept their movement, and Infinity Ward left it with no jetpacks whatsoever? All of a sudden, there's a distinct difference between every single Call of Duty game in the movement alone. Not to mention other things, one of them being Treyarch Zombies, uh, another one being Call of Duty 2016's or Infinity Ward's Extinction, which I'm just assuming is coming back. So either or, I will be happy and I will play the new Call of Duty game. I would like there to be this fast movement, but I would completely understand if they left it out to make a difference, to make a difference between the Treyarch game, to make a difference between the Sledgehammer game. That would also be really, really cool. But overall, 
I would probably want Black Ops 3's movement mechanics. But again, I want to hear what you guys think, so write that down in the comment section below. But as far as the fast movement goes, I don't know whether you like this kind of speeded up gameplay that the jetpacks bring from Advanced Warfare and from Black Ops 3, but 100% it does speed up the game. Now, if we look at Treyarch as a developer in the last couple of games, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, some of the smallest maps we've seen in Call of Duty in ever, ever really, and... The fact that they do this is proven to be a very good thing for Call of Duty. What do I mean by this? Well, before Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2 was kind of like that one game that everyone really loved in the Call of Duty series. You don't hear many people say, Black Ops 2, shitty game. Like, no one really says that. Black Ops 3... This is the least complained about Call of Duty I've seen since Black Ops 2. So clearly, these small maps really, really work well. And the jetpack in Black Ops 3 lends towards that and speeds up the game even further. And really, compared to Advanced Warfare, I rarely hear people complain about the boost jumps, wall, wall runs. Wall runs are in this game. I haven't even talked about wall runs. Um, but we're talking about the next game here. What will they decide to do? Well, what I figure that they will do... People really, really hated Call of Duty Ghost, and one of the things that they really hated was how slow it played, and guess what? That tactical feel isn't what people like in Call of Duty. People who play Call of Duty want to see high-killing, fast-paced games. How do I know this? Look on YouTube. Look at the most viewed videos in any Call of Duty game. They're going to be like the 100-plus kill games, the huge huge kill games that are constantly fast paced that's what people want to see that's what people want to play as that's what people like in call of duty and if you're one of those people who only like getting five kills a game write in the comment section below because that would really really surprise me because i don't think anyone likes that so what am i saying here if and only if infinity ward learned by their mistakes they may over jump and what do i mean by that they may go too far they may make too small of maps they may make too fast of gameplay have you guys ever played unreal tournament or something like quake they could go that far they could speed up the game that much now i really really hope they don't do that because those games were insanely fast and far too fast if you ask me especially for a call of duty game but what I The way I look at it is Infinity Ward has obviously two options. One, they stick with their more tactical gameplay that people hated in Ghost 2, the slowed down version. And if they do slow down the game, people are going to jump on that right away. I promise you people will be saying, well, why are they slowing down the game again? Clearly this didn't work for them in Ghost, blah, 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 blah. So what they could do is they could slow down the gameplay, take out jetpacks, and make very small maps. That could work for them. That's that's what I think one of their options is. Now, their other options is use the same size maps that are currently being used and leave the jetpacks in. And those really are the two options. And if they do leave the jetpacks in, keep it with the Black Ops 3 movement mechanics. Because in my opinion, they're awesome. Except one thing. I would really love to see dolphin diving come back. Dolphin diving is awesome. Just diving onto that B flag through the middle of the map always felt so damn good and would love to have that back. That being said, I also like sliding. So if there's a way to, for them to include both of them, that would be pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. But if you ask me, what are they going to do? This is asking me my opinion, what I think they're going to do. The jetpack's going to be in there. If you ask me, it it's almost needs to be at this point. It's almost become a part of the game and sped it up to a point where it's a staple. It's a staple as much as going prone is, as much as the kill cam is, as much as the game winning kill cam is. These are all things that have been added throughout the series of Call of Duty that are now staples in the game. And I don't know whether 100% these jetpacks or exosuits are a staple. But it's getting pretty close to that. And if you ask me, Black Ops 3 did a pretty good job at it. But I want to hear what you guys think. Because if there is one developer that's going to leave them out, it's going to be Infinity Ward. But that's all I know. That's all I can tell you guys. Next, I want to hear what you guys think. What do you want to see, first of all? And second of all, what do you think Infinity Ward will do? I told you what I think, and I've told you what I want. Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comment section below. I promise I will read every single comment in the comment sections. If you enjoyed the video, all I ask, leave a like rating. It would be super, super greatly appreciated if you could do so. It really, really helps out the channel and helps more and more people find the video. Now, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week, except for Sunday. So if you're into that kind of thing, the subscribe button is for you. If you want to know more about my life, Twitter is the place to do so. That link is in the description. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.
Peace out. <laughs>